What's up guys? My name is David and I'm a photographer based in San Diego, California. So recently I posted a couple of videos on my Instagram account that seemed to get quite a lot of attention and I had a lot of questions of people asking me how do I color grade my videos and how I'm able to achieve this look. So I figured today I'd show you guys exactly how I do that. So just to cut to the chase, the way that I'm able to achieve this look is using a plugin called Dehancer. Dehancer is a plugin for film like color grading and film effects. With dozens of film emulations, film grain, halation, and so much more, they really make it effortless to achieve a beautiful film like look for your videos. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So here I have my timeline. I usually just create a timeline. And these are gonna be my timeline settings for these Instagram carousels that I make. This is the color that I work with, Rec 709A. It's just what I found to give me the best results. So yeah, let's get right into it. First thing I do is I drop this overlay in here. This is my borders. We want to make this multiply. And we can just start dropping our clips in here. to do is I like to start so what I like to do is I like to have three nodes and I drop my dehancer node right into the third one so you see as soon as you drop the plugin it's just giving you a bunch of options already preloaded into this and what I usually do is I disable all of them close these tabs up and I just kind of focus on the ones that I want to work on. So the first thing I do is I do my conversion right here. So I shoot on a Sony A7 III on S-Log2. That conversion is great in my opinion. <laughs> Next thing I do is I enable the film developer and I bump the color boost between 25 and 35. Next thing I do is the film. So there's a ton of different film emulations that you can use here. Um, my go-to lately has been Fuji Color Pro 400H. Just love the way the greens look on this. So yeah, we'll enable that. Next thing is film compression. Just kind of soften, softens your highlights a little bit. Expand, I don't really use that. Next thing is print. I usually go for the Kodak Endura Glossy Paper. Just gives it a nice little punch. Next thing I do is I go in the color head and this is where I feel like my colors really shine is when I turn the shadows, midtones, and highlights towards the warmer side. It just kind of like warms the image up a lot more and I just really like the way that looks. Yeah, you have the option to add film grain, halation, bloom, just a ton of options here. Um, for this video personally and all of these other clips, I'm not going to be adding grain just because that is my preference. But I will add halation to these and the halation that I like to use is 35mm no remjet. So you see it's kind of aggressive when you first put it on, but what I like to do is I like to put this at around anywhere between 25 and 40. And so the next 
thing I do is I go to my second note, and this is where I like to make my adjustments of my highlights, my contrast, my shadows. So I usually bump this down right here on the curves, bump this up a little bit here, go down here, turn my contrast up, lower the pivot a little bit. And yeah, I think that looks great already. This is before, after, before, after. I think that looks great. So we'll, go. we'll color another clip. Same thing, we'll do three nodes. Drop the plugin right in here. Disable all tools. And I'll just run the process all over again. Sony A7 III. S log two, color boost, 35, just really gives it that nice punch of color. There's a ton of different film emulations you can play with here. I know Kodak Vision 3, 250D, and 500T are really popular. A lot of people use these. They look great too, but my personal preference is going to be this Fuji Color Pro 400H. I really like the way that looks. Film compression, just soften those highlights a little bit. Film print, once again, Kodak Enduro glossy paper. I like that a lot. And then we go into the color head, and this is where we add our warm tones. That highlight is really what does it for me. gives it a really nice warm look. Add a little bit of halation to that. That's a little bit too much. 35 is perfect. Do the same thing here. Add a little contrast. Yeah. I think that looks great. In the same type of warm environment. We'll do three nodes again, same thing. Disable all tools. We'll try a different film emulation with this one, maybe like Kodak 250D. We'll see what that looks like. Once again, color boost. We'll do 45 on this, really give it a punch. Kodak Vision 250D, I think that looks great. It really balances the blues and the yellows down here. Film compression to soften those highlights. Kodak Endura Glossy, I think that looks really good. Once again, shadows, midtones, and highlights, just warm those up. Add the halation once again. This is looking a little bit too punchy, so I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna bump my shadows up. Put the contrast on this. Add some contrast here. And yeah, I think that looks great. So as you can see, it's real easy. I do mostly all of my color grading on one node, and that's the Dehancer plugin node. We'll do another one here, different scenario. So you see, once again, it looks really washed when you first add it, but just, you know, play around with it, see what works for you. There's a ton of different options in here. You can really make your footage look however you want it to look. Color Boost 45 again. Kodak Vision, I don't really like the way this looks here. I think for this clip in particular, I use the Cine Still 800T. Yeah, I like the way that looks a lot. Soften those highlights up. Kodak Enduric Glossy Paper Print. Just gives it that nice punch. Back to the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Add the warmth there. Go 
that's really what's giving it that nice little color balance. Throw a little bit of halation in there again. Go to our second node, add the contrast, brighten it up a little bit. And yeah, it's just, you know, just play around with it. There's a ton of different things you can do in here. I really like the way that looks. So yeah, we'll grade this last one from a recent trip I took to Yosemite. So yeah, you see that looks terrible, but do not worry because we'll fix it. So there we go. That's our conversion right there. I really like the conversion inside this program. I think it's great. I used to do a color space transform, but I don't use that anymore. I kind of just do everything, like I said, inside this Dehancer plugin. And I think that it's honestly amazing. And I love the colors that I get. I love the results that I've been able to get on here. And yeah, it's really easy as you can see. Fuji Color Pro again on this one. Love the way that looks. Soften those shadows, those highlights a little bit. Huge difference right there in those highlights. Kodak Endura Glossy just gives it that little punch again. Shadows, midtones, and highlights. Warm those up again. That looks amazing in my opinion. to just give it that nice little look once again shadows up a little bit bring some contrast into that over the pivot a little bit so yeah as you can see I don't even really touch my first note I do everything in the Dehancer plugin note um, it's real easy to use it's Pretty straightforward there's a ton of different options of things that you can do this is just personally the ones that I use and the ones that I found give me the best results and results that I enjoy so yeah I hope that you guys learned something today and just want to say thank you so much for watching my videos and for tuning in I'm really excited to move forward with this channel and drop a ton more videos this year and I'll be including a link below for 10% off your purchase of Dehancer. If this is something you guys are interested in, it's been extremely helpful for me. So I know that you guys will also benefit from this. And yeah, thank you guys so much and see you guys in the next one.